Now, last week I told you that I'd ordered a new helmet that I expected to uh, actually have arrived at the end of last week. But unfortunately, things didn't go quite to plan. The helmet took a lot longer to arrive than I'd expected. I didn't actually get it till Wednesday. And then unfortunately, I found that it had a fault. Now, amazingly, the importer's bell, despite me contacting them after 5 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon, were able to get a new replacement helmet out to me by the following morning, which I thought was quite amazing service. So the schedule for filming and editing had to be cut extremely tight. Today's video isn't in the form that I'd originally intended doing it. I do apologize for that, but I've just had to make the best of a bad job. Obviously, as mentioned last week also, I do have some new goggles, but I couldn't really review the goggles without the helmet. So I'm gonna do the helmet today and hopefully next week as quickly as I can, I'll get the video put together for the goggles. Now today's market is literally saturated with retro styled and classic style open faced helmets, which are all cashing in on a pedigree, which in actual fact doesn't belong to them. Now I enjoy products that have a true heritage and history. And back in 1954, the founder of the Bell Helmet Company, Roy Richer, designed and built the first Bell 500 open face helmet. Now this helmet is to all intents and purposes the first modern open face helmet as we would understand them today. Now obviously the modern day version, the Bell Custom 500, is built to ultra modern standards and is bang up to date in the technology that's used to put it together. Now, the particular design that I chose is the RSD Check It version. This is a collaboration between Bell and RSD. This is the Roland Sands design. Now, Roland Sands is a retired GP rider from the late 1990s turned custom bike designer who also runs a successful motorcycle clothing brand. Now the Custom 500 range is quite large and I think this is one of two or three collaborations that they've done together. I'll leave a link for Bell's website in the video description so that you can go and have a look for yourself. Now the helmet comes in the iconic bright red Bell box with the Bell logo emblazoned around it. And you get a nice surprise when you open it because the helmet itself, instead of coming in your usual sort of duffel sack type thing, comes in uh, quite a thick leatherette bowling ball style carrying case. And this is going to be incredibly handy for keeping your helmet clean and scratch free while it's in storage. The bag's lined with a thick and quite luxurious feeling red velvet type material to prevent any scratching while it's inside the bag. And the bag is double zipped. Although Bell is an American company, this helmet is actually made in China. But that shouldn't be viewed as a bad thing. There are a lot of high quality products coming from China these days. And I believe this is one of them. Now the actual Roland Sands check it design itself consists of three checkered panels, one at each side and a strip down the middle. Each panel is graduated and fades out towards the back and they're all bordered by a gold and then a red pinstripe. There's an RSD design logo at the bottom of the back left hand panel and the helmet itself is finished with a rose gold colored beading. Now the actual design itself to me looks to be some sort of decal which has been placed on the helmet and then overlaid with a coat of lacquer to tidy it up and seal it in place. I describe the quality of the lacquering as reasonable. I've seen better but then again and have seen a lot worse. The bell sticker above the forehead is removable if you decide you don't want to have it there. And the helmet features the usual five stud attachment system. That's three press studs across the top and one press stud at each side. This allows you to fit a selection of visors or peaks depending on your taste. And again, I'd advise that you have a look at Bell's website there to see if there's anything that takes your fancy. It's a D-ring fastening helmet, which is a tried and trusted method. I've got to admit I'm a bit out of practice with these, but you soon get the hang of it. And it comes with an instruction booklet come care manual. You also get a Bell sticker to stick on your toolbox and four reflective stickers for better visibility at night for the safety conscious owner. 
One of the things that I think sets this helmet apart from all the others is the leather interior. It's got a red stitch detailing on the leather crown and the interior which is suede. This helmet doesn't have any ventilation and I would add that none of the lining is removable for cleaning. It's all fixed in place. On the D-ring, just as a finishing touch, it has a nice little red leather pull tab with logo. All in all, this is a very well appointed helmet. It looks great on or off, and I personally think it's the perfect accompaniment to your modern classic bike. Now, the fitting of this helmet is what's known as an intermediate oval. That means it should fit most head types. And one of the things that sets Bell apart from other manufacturers is they actually make five different shell sizes. Now, most manufacturers only have two or even three. And this means that they make the different sizes up by putting thicker or thinner padding in in order to get a good fit. The problem with this is that you can end up with a helmet that looks absolutely massive on your head. With Bell's five different sizes, this means that each size shell is basically tailored to the size of the head that it's fitted with. And this helps to overcome the problem of the oversized mushroom head look. Now just one final word about fitting, I never buy my helmets from the internet, I always go to my local motorcycle retailer. Now there's no doubt about it, you will get a better deal on the internet, but you also run into the danger of getting a helmet that doesn't fit you right and then having to go through quite an ordeal trying to get it returned and get the right size. You may pay a little bit more at the dealer, but at least you can ensure that you're getting a helmet that fits you correctly and that is very important and I personally believe that it is worth paying just a little bit more for that fitting service to ensure that you get the right size product. Now I bought this helmet from Five Ways Motorcycles, one of my local dealers and I'll leave a link to their website in the video description. Now I'm sorry if this video does seem a little bit rushed, but as I've said, I had very little time to actually get this whole production together. I hope you've enjoyed it and you found it useful. I've got a very nice pair of Halcyon compact goggles coming up in the next video. Don't miss it, and I'll see you next time.